modern angels versus biblical angels. Glitch in the matrix there, this cat was showing us a bit too much of what they actually would look like. Like, how has there not been a horror movie written about these things? It's terrifying. When you survive the Black Plague and your wages start going up, oh yeah. Who needs friends when you're out here trying to hustle? I'm just trying to get this bag. That's Darwinism, baby. Mussolini's celebrating Italy's World Cup win in 1934 and 1938 after bribing officials and threatening the lives of his players. I mean, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. This was back in the good old days. Who cares about seeing the actual best team win? I want to strong arm the entire league to get that trophy. Americans win their home alone and hear their M1 Claymore mine go off in their front door. <laughs> yeah, baby. Finally, I've been waiting 10 years for that thing to explode. What an idiot. There really needs to be more good fella memes. If you're white, you can't speak Spanish. Are you familiar with the entire country of Spain? People often forget that. There are legitimately people as white as me in Spain speaking like fluent Spanish. I mean, just look at Canelo. He ain't even from Spain. He's from Mexico. But look at this dude. Oh, shit, we got like similar beards. Just look at that shit. Normal people with a time machine. I'm your grandson. Wow, really? Me with a time machine. Is that you, Nestle? Stick them up. Millions of gallons of water cry out in happiness at this exact moment. The British public reading invasion literature in the 1890s about fictional attacks on Britain. Oh no. The British public, 50 years later, reality is often disappointing. Man, that's terrible. I can just imagine the British public at this time glorifying some evil enemy they had to take down that was also destroying their homeland. If only they knew. Koreans, after American soldiers, give them some tins of processed pork. This is some serious gourmet shit right here. I have yet to try spam in my whole life, and I plan to keep it that way, but that's partially just because I'm terrified of becoming addicted. Tell me something I don't know. Well, the USA and HRE, for a brief period, used to exist at the same time. Whoa! That's something that you just don't don't really think about, but yeah, there was like a 30 year time span where they both coexisted. It's just such a weird thing to think about because this really looks like some sort of fantasy land. Luxembourg sending 44 soldiers to Korea as Colombia, the only South American country to send troops, or just drowning right here. All the while, Ethiopia, long dead, sending a battalion of 3,000 who fought in 256 battles and won every single encounter. None of their soldiers were ever taken captive? That was all that fighting they must have done with Italy. They were highly experienced, and then it also helps that the Italians were kind of like easy punching bags. Normal people with a time machine, I'm your grandson. You are me with a time machine. I shouldn't interfere with the course of history. The consequences of my actions could be disastrous. I thought we all collectively agreed with this statement, but I do get a little bit worried seeing all the memes. When you're trying to fight for the king and country, but you're stuck on cat duty. Is this real footage just almost looks like a photoshopped cat. Hey man, the brothers need you out there. Give them a weapon. We gotta start scraping the barrel for troops somehow. Getting a chemistry degree for normal reasons. Getting a chemistry degree to determine what Greek fire was. Basically, Greek fire was sticky flames that was used usually in naval battles to like light up other ships, but it couldn't be extinguished by the water itself. Like legitimately sounds straight out of a video game. It's basically like an 8th century flamethrower. What aliens gave them this technology? Sparta, frick you. Athens, no, frick you. Persia invades Greece. Hmm... You think of what I'm thinking? I can just both imagine them say, frick you to the Persians. This is like all of ancient Greece for a time. They all had to unite to stop that force. Disliking no-no Germans versus thinking the WW1 Germans were no-no Germans. We need to really show like a majority of Twitter this meme. Dumb, no, that's ooficide. The Germans are strong, but not as strong as shotguns. Damn, I thought he was gonna say, but not as strong as family. Now who am I kidding? You know he said this after this line. He can't stop saying it. The Russian Empire expanding so so far into the east that they lost contact with Moscow. The problem of being faster than light is that you can only live in the darkness. <laughs> oh my god. This kid hit me with some deep thought right here. I don't think I can handle philosophical questions right now. Koreans looking at the two paths they can choose. Fight for an authoritarian leader who wants to unite the Korean Peninsula, or fight for an authoritarian leader who wants to unite the Korean Peninsula. Hmm. Choices, choices. I feel like we're learning a lot about Korea today. Christian Envoy, you guys should adopt Christianity. Vladimir the Great, hmm, I don't know. You can enjoy alcohol. Alcohol. Let's go. This guy drives a hard bargain. Gave him a deal so good he couldn't refuse. Get that thing out of my face as the Soviet Union is put in front of Kyrgyzstan's face. Oh, but they took a bite. Wait a second. It just increased literacy rate and they get to keep culture practices. Wow, that's a unique one. We only usually talk about the negatives. Middle Ages in reality. I made some profit. Might buy some sweets for the kids. Middle Ages in pop culture. Bandits oof my wife. My children died of pneumonia. I have no possessions. There is no hope. That's like a marketing problem with 
this whole time period. You called it the Dark Ages. What do you think the normies was gonna do with that? Mexico gaining independence. Mexico, literally ever since. One moment of happiness and then just a long long decline. Hey, they're gonna have their time in the sun one day. A stupid bird symbol as Rome looks past their wolf that raised your founders. Good point, but also that image is just so weird of the babies like sucking on this dude's nip. Like low-key, I kind of wouldn't want this as the symbol of my country either. Kind of Weird. When a new plague or natural disaster occurs and you need a scapegoat? Ah, European villagers. Been doing this for quite a while, huh? This must be their favorite game. You have freed us! No problem. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to Mount Vernon to enjoy my retirement. We are lucky that George Washington wasn't like this power-hungry dude. We could have easily fallen back into a monarchy. He could have been our Napoleon in a way if you think about it. He was just a little old though. Hey you, why do you always wear that mask? Looking at neutrality. Uh oh no no, don't, don't lift the mask up. Making money from both sides. <laughs> Yeah, let's just keep this on. This is the ultimate Swiss secret. Don't let them know we're on to them. They've been doing it for so long. When you're a bear minding your own business in Iran and then find yourself serving in Italy as a private in the Polish army, I'll still never forgive modern militaries for not trying this more often. Like, why not throw a bear soldier into the division? Just see what happens. American planners proposing to drop huge... I can't... I can't say that, but... Uh, labeled medium across the Soviet lines to show American supremacy. Don't ever use the word smart with me, but it is, it, it is, it's pretty smart. Those are some thugonomic tactics right there. Crime documentaries be like, Louis the 16th had a head until he didn't. Wow, this is progressing pretty fast. Let's slow it down there, documentary. When you're not even Egyptian, your ancestor took over the country, and you saw the end of Egyptian independence because you backed the wrong dude in a foreign civil war. <sighs> Hey, let's not do that to my girl Cleopatra. But you're also the first person anybody thinks of when Egypt is mentioned. She was playing the long game, and I mean the really long game. Thousands of years long game. She took some massive L's so she could go down pretty famous in history. I don't even think she's famous for the L's because we don't think about the losses she took. She's just out here living rent free in our mind. The Japanese are gone. Now Korea can be united, says the Korean Peninsula. USA laughing. Ha ha. USSR comes to join in, then proceeds to beat the shit out of the Korean Peninsula. Oh, you funny little thing. British war movies about the hundreds of wars of the British Empire. British war movies if you exclude the two times they fought the Germans. Yeah, can we get Christopher Nolan to do a historical movie on this? I want to hear the Hans Zimmer motif for these guys. You'd know that would slap. 50 tactical nukes being dropped on Manchuria. Luckily, it was just Douglas MacArthur daydreaming. Ah, yes. Money, 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 money. Kind of terrifying to think, like, how close we were to actually trying that. I feel like it's easy to criticize him now, but, you know, back at the time, I bet you there was a whole lot of people that probably agreed with this. Like, they didn't know what the consequences would be like. They were just trying to win that war. Nice theory you got there, Darwin. Would be a shame if someone misused it to propagate the ideas of genetics. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That that would be a shame. Oh, yeah. Luckily, that never happens. Me? I promise I won't get political. Also me, after a pint of Guinness. Also me, after I watch Conor McGregor fight. People in the 19th century, when they're told that women shouldn't ride on trains in case they go over 50 miles an hour and they're... What? That sounds sciencey enough to be true. How the hell did they even come up with this? You think it started off as a joke and just like got way out of control? That's how these things start sometimes. Sumerian parenting woes. That's wonderful, darling, but aren't you worried that depending on a little clay tablet might impair your memory? Okay, Sumer. The irony here is this feels so much like a boomer comic. We're going too many levels deep. Luxembourg, what are you doing here? Says South Korea, USA, and the UK. I don't know. Yeah, because we saw the Ethiopians knew what they were doing there. They was out for blood. I I will just approach the human, sit by the fire, and eat the leftovers. What could go wrong? A few thousand years later, this is exactly what could go wrong. You get Habsburgified. Oh, it looks terrifying. The US dropped tens of thousands of Bibles into Romania in the 1970s, which were then collected, repurposed into... Wait, wait, what? Holy music stops. Y'all trying to get crusaded over there in Romania? That sounds like it was what's gonna happen. Actual medieval armies, if they saw medieval armies in movies charging at each other and going into one-on-one -on -one sword fights. The freak they doing over there? I always think how awkward that's gotta be, like when you're like in the battle, right? Like your homie that's like three rows up is having a fight for his life against another group of squad, and you're just like waiting for the front row to die so that you can take your turn and probably die as well. Just gotta like sit there twiddling your thumbs until like you hear enough screams to move forward. And now, the first victim of Nono German aggression. Austria begins to get up. Not you, Austria! That's right. Czechoslovakia begins to get up. Gotta watch Austria. They be sneaky throughout history. How the US fight wars? Just blows a bunch of money at it. How the UK fights wars? 
Frick U, Frick U2 across their island. How Canada fights wars, writing more powerful allies. How France fights wars, just survive. How Germany fights wars, I am speed. Yeah, because if they don't do it fast enough, they're going to lose. Longer it goes on. How Austria fights wars, immediately killed by Germany. How Russia fights wars, everything's on fire, but this is fine. The thing is, they're not showing you that Russia actually started that fire. It's all part of their strategy. How Japan fights wars, copies Europe's homework. How China fights wars, land force limit, putting everything into your army and nothing into the Navy. Yep, pretty much everything here is exactly accurate. WW2 veterans, when they're asked if they want to buy a car from a Japanese company, I'll never forgive the Japanese. WW2 veterans when they're asked if they want to buy a car from a German company. German science is the world's finest. I've noticed that too, even with some of the old boomers still today, there's there's still a little, little something there. You can feel that grudge from the old folks. It's probably ancestry has to do with this though. Germany annexes Austria. Britain, meh. France, incoherent rambling. Mexico, mental breakdown. Switzerland, we are hitting neutrality levels that shouldn't even be possible. And they would proceed to do that for the next like five years. Will there ever be a more alpha neutrality play than Switzerland in WW2. I mean, yeah, Sweden had it pretty hard, and then there's Ireland as well, but Switzerland, right in the thick of it, surrounded from all sides. Guess, as we learned earlier, they just really wanted that money from both sides. Other pilots, low on ammunition, time to head back. The Japanese, damn it, I am the ammunition. Is that what they actually told him? You think the generals were like, don't come back. Or were they like just willingly going kamikaze? I don't know. I, just pro I could probably find that out though. 18 year old Americans in 1965 are enjoying life. US Army. Yes, yes. Now would be the perfect time to get involved in something like this. You want to go to the Vietnam jungles? They have trees that speak over there. Pretty amazing sight. Arab fleet. Let's go take Constantinople. Five minutes later, again. Greek fire. Is that what was going on in the Gulf of Mexico? Some ancient Greeks used a time machine to just come back here, show us what we're missing with this little old school flamethrower they had. The allies in USSR are both holding a Germany. We each get half. Fine by me. Hmm. I never thought about what half I would take if I had to cut my waifu up. The choices, the choices. Mom, can I have a German nationalist? Oh, it's Bismarck. No, we have German nationalist at home. German nationalist at home. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's just not ask for any more German nationalists. That that would probably be best. Normal people with a time machine. I am your future granddaughter. Really? Me with a time machine. Don't invade Russia. I am average height, says Napoleon Bonaparte. That'd actually be kind of scary. Has anyone ever made like a history video about how like, even if they did didn't do this. Revolutionary France probably still would have fallen. Is there even an argument to be made there? I don't know, but that, that'd be a good video. People being mad about these stolen Egyptian artifacts and them also putting all the blame on the British where the French are just chilling here who had originally stolen them. Yeah, French uh, French dodged this one a lot of the times. So much is put on the British. I guess the French like paid for it in other ways. Do you want to be known for stealing artifacts or for surrendering? That is the life of a history meme. And big thanks to the July patrons. Abolish Wyoming 2021. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Aryan after hours. I'm bad enough. Lolo lo, lo, lo. Yo 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 yo. Luxembourg. Mine lover. brothers. 99. Poppy X2. Drew. Patrick C. Popcorn. 2008. Beer, Stormtrooper. 501. Zephy. Manny. Hawks. Hawks. Epi. Elijah Senpai. Alfonso M. Barnes, 6. Aaron F. Dalton Aaron D. F. 